I need to prep the ends of these conductors. I know that I'm putting an outlet in here and that outlet is going to have three terminals that I need to connect each one of these conductors to. So I know based on the information we did before, I need a hook on each one of these ends. I'll go ahead and strip these two ends that have the insulation and I'm going to bend a hook in each one of these. This is also 14 gauge wire, so I'm using my 14 gauge stripper notches. And I'm stripping back about 5 eighths of an inch. I'm going to go ahead and bend a hook on my neutral. I'm going to bend a hook on my hot wire. And then I'll bend a hook on my ground wire. There's my three hooks. Now all I need is my outlet. And we need to do, attach our wire ends to our terminals in a specific sequence. That's always going to be, we're going to start with our ground. We're then going to go to our neutral. Then we're going to do our hot wire. We're always working in that fashion just in case we have a situation where we have live wires that we didn't know about. And this could save our life. We're putting our safety uh, features in first so that it could help in an emergency. So I'll go ahead and hook my ground wire onto my ground terminal. We want to make sure that we get this turned in the right direction on our terminal. And I'm going to hook it on there. I'm going to add some tension to it and I'm going to twist or tighten that terminal screw as tight as I can get it. I'm watching that wire wrap around. I've got a good tight connection there. Up next, we're going to work our neutral wire. That's the one after the ground. And we're always going to attach our neutral conductor to our silver terminal. I have two terminals here. I can decide either one will work. So I'm going to use this terminal here. And I'm going to go ahead and attach my hook, put some tension on it. And then I'm going to tighten this screw as tight as I can get it. I should see that wire start to wrap around it. That's a good solid connection. It's also good practice if you have, you're going to have an extra terminal on both sides. Go ahead and tighten that one up. It'll give you some more room in your box when you pack all this into your junction box. So now I'm going to do my hot wire. So I'm going to work this side of my outlet. So the hot wire is going to come in and I'm going to put that one just out of good practice. I'm going to put it on the same terminal or the same lower terminal as I did my neutral wire. I have to loosen this terminal. It happens to be tight. And we want to make sure that we get this turned the right direction. So we want it, the hook pointing in a clockwise direction. We'll go ahead and hook it on. I'm going to add some tension on this. And now I can go ahead and tighten that terminal screw. We want it nice and tight. And then we're going to tighten up this other terminal screw so it's out of the way when we pack all of these wires in. We have all of our conductors connected to our outlet securely. Now it's time to pack all of these wires into the junction box and secure this outlet to the junction box. Let's do a quick review of our connections to our outlet. We're always going to start as a good habit when we're running electrical. We're going to run our ground first. That could be a wire to wire connection or a wire to terminal connection. And on a terminal, you can identify your ground terminal. It will always be green. Your ground wire will either be bare copper or it will have a green colored insulation around a copper conductor. Your next conductor to use is your neutral. This is going to be a white wire and you're always going to connect your white wire to a silver terminal. Next up, we're going to do our hot wire, which is going to be our black wire. It's going to connect to a gold colored or a brass terminal. 